Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous video tutorial, we have rendered the JSON in this list and now what we will do, we will make it enable to edit the value of location from this list. How? We will click on edit and the value is captured by jQuery inserted into the input field and input field will be replaced in this uh, cell and then we will replace edit with the save text and when we will click on save the value get from the input field replace here and it's get its position uh, <coughs> by default so here we have the code now what we need to do we need to create first uh, we have to bind the classes with these two delete and edit in this video tutorial we will work on client side edit uh, procedure so I have added the class edit menu location list now create a click listener here Whenever you are playing with class type click listener, you have to use document dot on pass click comma then the selector which is class then the function. Okay now in this what i will say i will create a variable as text node now i need the text of second td uh, from the table so what i will do what is the structure uh, i will write it here this mean current node which is clicked so when I will click on edit so current node is span so this mean span I need TD so I will say span dot parent it will return me TD now I need the row because I want to replace this table data and I need the table row so I will call its parent dot parent it will return me table current table row now I need its children it will return me all children like TD1 TD2 and TD3 in the programming this is 0 index 1 and 2 index so I need to replace first index I will use 1 here now what I need to do I need to replace it with input field so what I will do first I will copy the text which is available there as I will say inner HTML now text will, will grab from there now I will create a node I will say field node I will do the same up to here we have the field okay instead of this let's create a field here i will say input type is equal uh, text and uh, set its value now pass the text which we have extracted from the node then replace our input field in exchange of text after this what we will do we will replace HTML with this field okay so now there will appear a text field uh, input field sorry now refresh this and when I will click on edit 
the top will exchange with input field having text top like this click top click top bar r1 r2 and top bar now what i need i need save text here instead of add it so for that what we will do we will i need to replace this so i will say this means span parent pin td so i will replace td html uh, how i will replace i will replicate the whole td content here and use save and give id it also now when we will do the same process again in the first click edit text change into the save a new class is bind to the save and this is represent as it is like this so this is the save now add a click listener for the save to save the data on the client side replicate the whole code okay after this what you need to do you need to capture this so <clears throat> we are capturing this click listener now what we need to do we need to replicate the <clears throat> above code in this manner so now what happened we need parent parent and we need to add an other parent and two childs okay so let's copy this or even that uh, <clears throat> let's check let me comment this and check this value here press f12 here is the save uh, menu location list id uh, classes bind so what i will do i will say i need this okay now its parent who's its parent its parent is td okay i need its parent again now what we have we have the whole row now i need its children it's give me this i need children number one it's give me this there okay i need its value so now uh, it's giving me the error okay so i don't need second div i need children inside that which is input field so now i can call dot well so it's giving the top for example see this i have added text and enter so it's return me result like this now copy this here and the text node will replace this even that you can use inner html too uh, how simple is that you can say uh, dot inner html so node zero okay it's not working anyways uh, you can go for it now replace this here so you will always get the current node value so here is the value now what i need more i need to replace its html so let's see uh, i will say this i need html so <clears throat> i don't know for what it's giving me this let's see what we have okay we have this one okay we have this uh, i need the first element dot in inner html 
is equal so it's replaced replicate the code over here uh, for example right after this pass this keyword here now create replace it with this text node remove the unnecessary content now what happened when you will click on save it will replace it how let's view and uh, first we will click on add it uh, input field appear with the current text we will insert data in the input field and click save add it I am editing now click save so it's get edited but save is not changed with edit so what we need to do we need to play with this code I will say I want to place this ID here having this text now it's working fine uh, I hope it's go well let's see so now we have uh, almost done with the editing and updating update save click update again and save so it's working awesome now in the next video tutorial what we will do we will save this data into our database and update there right now it is updating on the client side when i will refresh the browser it's gone and to save it permanently we need to integrate this with the database i hope this video tutorial is informative for you so don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel if you want to go in the depth of web development take care bye bye have fun